Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is August 31st. I'm at the no-till cornfield that's been featured in previous videos. So, as I mentioned before, we were going to do aerial interseeding of cover crops with a drone. So that's what we're going to get on to today. I'm out here just waiting for the applicator to show up. So, take a quick walk in the corn. You can see it's a shorter grain variety, so it's not overly tall. That was planned for residue for next year's crops. So there's not as much. But as you can see, our previous cover crop is pretty well gone. Our wheat that we no-till planted this corn into. So now he's going to come with the drone. It'll fly overhead and drop seed into the field where we are. And hopefully make it down to the ground. And I'm hoping so because we can see sunlight hitting the ground. So the cover crop can start to grow and then we will come back and harvest this crop and our cover crop for next year will already be growing and can grow right through that corn residue and then that sunlight that's hitting the ground hopefully that the the cover crop can utilize that This is our seed blend that we are interseeding for our cover crop. There's a variety of different seeds here. Starting off the amber colored oblong seeds. That's winter wheat. It's a cereal grain. Its primary purpose will be for biomass production. So we're looking to get plant, plant matter above the ground and then root mass in the ground to help produce organic matter and just to have plant residue next year to plant into to act as a mulch. That will overwinter and come back in spring and, re and keep growing and regrow. Moving on now, the little black seeds, the round seeds, that is hairy vetch. That's a legume. Its purpose is to affix nitrogen in the soil for next year's corn crop. That too will overwinter and come back in spring. The next we have the the red or pinkish colored round seeds. Those are diakin radish, otherwise known as tiller radishes. Their purpose, they just scavenge up residual plant nutrients in the soil and tie it up. And they also produce a long tap root that goes deep into the soil to help break up soil compaction. Those will not overwinter. They will die out over the winter once you know it freezes and gets really cold. And then that nutrients they scavenge up will be released back into the soil for next year. And then the little yellow seed, that is mammoth clover. It's a type of red clover and we're growing that for nitrogen production as well. That will overwinter and come back in spring too. So ideally we're just trying to tie the soil into place and produce some of our own nitrogen from the air instead of buying commercial fertilizer in. So this will be seeded in with a drone about 35 pounds of the acre. So we're looking at about 20 pounds of wheat, seven pounds of hairy vetch, three pounds of clover, and three pounds of the tuller radish.
So they just finished uh, seeding the cover crop in here with the drone now. Uh, as you can see, close up here, there's uh, wheat and a vetch. I don't know if we really can find any clover. That's kind of small, but you can see it made it through the canopy. You know, 35 pounds of the acre, it's not going to be... Well, there's some clover right there. And it's not going to be super noticeable until you know it starts to grow. Hoping for a little rain now to get it to get this started. So I did go along and look here, you know, in the corn, and I can't find any seed hung up on the plant. So the downdraft from the drone must have moved it around enough to get the seed through. So I guess we'll see where this goes. Hopefully, say a week or so, I'll be able to give you an update on it and see if it's starting to grow and sprout. So, as far as the corn, out here, update why we're here. You see, it's at least 50% dented, so this corn's made maturity. Said it's only 83 day corn, shorter day, so. We're not going to get 200 bushel corn out of it, I don't think. I didn't expect that. But hey, well, for the dry year we've had, we'll take what we get. So, hoping for a little rain to get this cover crop started. And like I said, I'll keep posting. So, all right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.